physics. That's a problem of us being satisfied. A problem of perception. Perception and understanding. And understanding yeah. Yeah. So this spooky. And listen to Joe Rogan and Brian Greene discuss the idea of spooky action at a distance and physics. Action at a distance is the concept that an object can be moved, changed, or otherwise affected without being physically touched, as in mechanical contact, by another object. That is, it is the non-local interaction of objects that are separated in space. Action at a distance. Why was it first, what, what, was it a hypothesis, or was this something that was, was proven by math first? Like, yeah. So, so Erwin Schrodinger, one of the founding fathers of quantum mechanics, a curious fellow, uh, very interesting life, but he realized, looking at the equations, that there was this quality of the math that if two particles come together and they interact for a little while and then they separate, they can no longer be thought of as independent or autonomous. I mean, the very basic quality of autonomy, you and I are autonomous because we can separate. We can go our separate ways and do whatever we want at our respective locations. So you would think that if two particles separate, they will also be autonomous. But he saw in the mathematics that they would not be autonomous, that what you did to one would have an effect in some quantum mechanical way on the other. Now, he saw that in the mathematics. He called it out as the central feature of quantum mechanics. And that's a big statement coming from him because there are a lot of other weird qualities of quantum physics. Einstein then comes along, 1935, with two colleagues, and leverages this idea, writes a paper where he tries to prove that quantum mechanics cannot be the full story of the world because of this weird quality of what you do here affecting something over there. It's not until the 1980s that people really start to test this idea, and by today, this is used all the time in the laboratory. Quantum computing makes use of this quality, so this is no longer an idea that's abstract, it's something that's applied. Applied quantum entanglement gives us things in the real world in the laboratory. So this is beyond question real, even though Einstein thought it couldn't be, and Schrodinger considered it to be the strangest feature of the math of all. So beyond question, it's real. Yeah. But what do you think is happening? Well, so if you're going to allow for the most exotic possibilities, some would suggest that you are probing the many worlds of quantum mechanics. So